Yo, Bassoft here. So in this video, I'm going to go over the best strategy that I've seen, in my opinion, for the seven star Dragon Terra Charizard raid. Yes, it's ending, but it's going to come back. And for the new people that are coming in, or you guys just interested, this is going to be for you. So let's get to it. This bump. <laughs> let's go. So the first one is Spirit Break and you're using Grim Snarl. Right, is the main strat, and then obviously anyone else just make sure you don't bring anything that's like weak against Charizard's moves, like fire, flying, dragon. So it has those, so just be careful, right? First turn, it does overheat, and that hits someone randomly. Hopefully, it doesn't hit Grimstar. That's one of the downfalls for this. If Grimstar get hit by overheat first turn, it does need like a heal cheer from one teammate. That's it, just so it can like kind of work around it because. You want to run Prankster, so you'll light screen first turn, right? So you take like half damage, and your team pretty much does get the buff for this too. And then after that, you just Spirit Break it. And then eventually, it'll, you get like two off, or at least, and it'll just start hitting like a noodle. So that's pretty much my build is Grim Snarl with Prankster. And I am using Bright Powder, so it, it hopefully misses me with Overheat first turn. And then uh, I'm running actually HP and attack, so I can like do damage, especially when I terrestrialize. And I'm running adamant. Obviously, you could also run careful, and you can also run HP and special defense EVs, so you you can live longer and just play full support. I like to like just get in there. So pretty much all you need is just light screen and spirit break. That's it. The second one, I personally don't have a clip, but. I seen this done on Tajima's stream and I do have one built just in case right just in case I was gonna join and help out this one is actually called mutt slap strategy so if you don't know Azumarill can actually learn mutt slap but also this one actually revolves around Dutch bun because you can actually well bake fire attacks don't even affect you okay um, and I wouldn't use light warp here I just haven't changed it yet I would probably use something else. Uh, you can pretty much use anything, really. Just don't use Life Orb because you just be must slapping the first turn and you don't want to get hit, okay? But the important thing is must slap. So Charizard actually use moves like Hurricane, Fire Blast, uh, Focus Blast. A lot of the moves that it uses don't have good accuracy, right? And you want to bring a Fairy type, so you technically just ignore all the Dragon ones. So must slap would just make the accuracy a lower yes it'll hit you this is more like rng base but eventually their chances of hitting uh it will be so low that it wouldn't even matter too much like you get hit once or twice sure and eventually you just keep missing every turn so that's that strat and azumarill can learn must slap too so if you run dutch bun and then must slap a lot of times i do want azumarill on my team as a dps because it would just make the run faster um, you could obviously run Helping Hand and stuff like that on, on most of these. And the Grim Thorn does not learn much Helping Hand, though. Um, alright, the next strategy actually is more of a self-disdain. Fluttermane, right? You've seen this around how to solo uh, Charizard with Fluttermane. Because all you need is pretty much Moonblast, Draining Kiss, Fake Tears, and Calm Mind. So Moonblast for your DPS, Draining Kiss is to heal, so that's how to self-sustain. Fake Tears is lower as defenses, so you pretty much just do that like the beginning of the turn. Uh, you can also Calm Mind yourself to put the special defense on you and uh, boost your attack. And then you just pretty much like blast it, okay? Obviously, there's some notable other ones that I'm just going to like mention. You just can bring any light screen instead of Grim Snarl. It won't be as good because Grim Snarl is probably the best one. You can run Azumarill, Helping Hand. That's one of them. Um, those are the most of the ones I've seen. But yeah, just don't bring anything like super effective against... Uh, which takes super effective from Charizard moves. Like, don't bring Iron Hands. You can get destroyed by Hurricane. Uh, don't bring Ice Pokemon. Yeah, it's, it's weak against... Drag, Dragon's weak against Ice. But... He has Fire, right? Fire would just burn your Ice. And obviously, don't bring Dragon. Dragon weak against Dragon and... Dragons weak against dragons, so you do double damage and then it hit double damage to you, right? The important thing is to live, right? So these are just a quick video on the strategies. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, items is very sequential. I like you to do bright powder, okay? Bright powder is very good. Uh, just because the move don't really hit you. And you want to bring a fairy Pokemon, so you just resist all the dragons, okay? 
Um, oh yeah, there's also carrying strategy. Um, if you're getting carried, the, you just pretty much it's AFK. Don't do anything except like if the person that's carrying you is dying, you just cheer heal. That's it. That's the other strategy that I would just like to bring up. And with that, later days.